In today's video, we're going to go over the five pros and five cons of living in Toronto. My name's Tom Story, and I'm the team leader of the Story Team, and we sell real estate in Toronto. I've lived in this city my entire life, and there are some amazing things that Toronto has to offer. But on the flip side, there's also a few cons that you might want to know about if you're thinking about making a move to Toronto. And just before I get into that, if you like lifestyle and real estate content to do with the city of Toronto, make sure to subscribe to our channel. The first pro of living in Toronto is that Toronto is culturally diverse. And what does that mean? Well, it means you get to associate with people from all over the world and it's amazing. You get to build relationships that you may have never had the opportunity to do so. And then on top of that, it means our food, our fashion, our lifestyle, all the things that are very exciting about this city is because we have people coming from all around the world to live here. Pro number two is we have a good public transit system. Now I know if you live in Toronto, you're going to complain about the TTC, but compared to the rest of Canada, we got things pretty good. And I think we just complain because we don't know what the alternative is. You've got a ton of options to get around the city, whether that's taking the bus, taking the streetcar, or taking the subway. Next up is the schools. Toronto has some very highly ranked schools, all the way from kindergarten to grade 12 and post-secondary. And we've got options. We've got the public school system. I went there. I turned out okay, I think. Then we've got the private school system and you can choose to go that route if you want to. But you have options when you live in Toronto for schooling and there are some highly ranked schools. Next up is the recreation and entertainment that Toronto has to offer. There is always something going on in this city. You wanna see your favorite musician? Well, there's a good chance if they're going on tour, they're making a pit stop in Toronto. You wanna to go to the Toronto International Film Festival and see a film before it's come out yet? You have that opportunity. You wanna go see sports games? You wanna to go to the X? There is so many things. I could do a full video just on this. Recreation-wise, the food, the fashion, the lifestyle, everything that we have access to is what makes this city so amazing. And last on the list is we have a downtown airport. And maybe this one's just selfishly because I like this because I live in the downtown core, but you jump in an Uber, you're at the airport in five minutes. A lot of cities can't say that. So we just went over all the pros and there's a lot of amazing reasons why people love living in this city. But on the flip side, there's also some cons we need to talk about. The number one con of living in Toronto is it is expensive. I sell real estate for a living. This is what I do. I'm on the ground level doing this. I fully understand that the cost of living in Toronto is expensive for housing. Whether you're looking to rent or buy a property, it's going to be one of the most expensive markets in Canada other than maybe Vancouver. But I think it's also interesting to point out that if you look at cities that offer everything that Toronto has to offer worldwide, we're still relatively inexpensive compared to them. The next con of living in Toronto is traffic. The reality is the infrastructure of the city has not been built up at the same pace as our population growth. So being stuck in traffic in Toronto is kind of just like a daily norm. You got to build it into your day when you're trying to get around the city. Sometimes for me downtown, I'm not even dealing with my car. I'm just going to jump in an Uber because it's way easier than driving there and trying to find parking. So if you're driving to work every single day, I would say figure out what your favorite podcast is. Make sure you got something that's entertaining because you might be stuck in traffic. Next up on the con list is it gets really, really cold. And now this is like most of Canada, but winters in Toronto are frigid. They are really cold and summers get really hot. We have extremes in Toronto. We don't have too much of that middle ground. There's like a, maybe a month or two months of year where it's that nice middle ground, but the rest is typically extremes on the heat side or on the freezing cold side. And the last con for living in Toronto is you're just gonna get less overall space. So compared to a lot of other markets in Canada, the amount of space you're gonna get for the dollar you're going to pay is going to be less. But we also have to remember that because there's so many things to do in this amazing city, that the space that you have, you might not need as much space because you're gonna be spending most of your time out and about. Like I said, I've lived in this city my entire life. And sometimes I find that we take things for granted here. We don't really realize how good we have it. There's a reason why our population growth and the price of housing continues to go up almost year after year. It's because people want to be here. There's jobs, there's opportunity here. The crime rate is actually fairly low for a big city. There's a bunch of amazing reasons why people want to come to Toronto. 
But what do you think? Is there anything that I didn't touch on that you think I should have added to this list? I'd love to know. Put it in the comments below. I will hang out there and answer all the questions. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Remember, home is where your story begins. Hey, it's Tom again. Thanks so much for watching that. If you want to connect with me or book an appointment about anything that has to do with Toronto real estate, you can check out our website, storyteam.ca slash contact. You can book an appointment on your time or check us out on Instagram at the story team. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.